Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now, back to Monday with Monique. Welcome back to Mondays with Monique, and I'm here with Bailey Friend from the Rancheria. Bailey, Hi. thanks so much for thanks coming for over. Thanks for having me. You betcha. So last time we talked, which was several Mondays ago, yes. you were just getting prepared for um, the beer and pairing yes. with Dustful Brewing Company. That's mm -hmm. right. And made the watermelon salad. That's, that's right. We made yes. that here on the show. And then you were kind enough to invite me. So uh -huh. uh, me and a few friends joined you there. And I'll have to say that the food was certainly outstanding. I agree. But the pairing of the beers with the food was top notch. Thank you. It must have taken a little bit of tasting in advance to really match them well because yeah. the food was, I wouldn't say standard, it was you know on the unusual side as, as far as the flavors and the spices went yeah. and then the beers were just the perfect, perfect combination. Good, so yeah. tell me about, you know, a little bit about how you guys came a, about well, the recipes. Peter does that, Chef Peter pretty much does that mm -hmm. and uh, he, he did, we got samples of each of the beers and he played with the beer and then with some spices, the beer and then some herbs mm -hmm. and just kind of played around with what he thought uh, went well with the beers and ended up making some great choices. Uh, my favorite was the paella, mm. the big, that, the big that old pan, pan like that huge. they put on the barbecue and yeah. they had these big old oars kind of pushing it around. I saw that. Was that was fantastic. Yeah, what that a was cool really show good. too because it was just neat to watch the guys, you yeah. know, stirring it and making it and everything. Mm -hmm. That was really cool as far as a visual because, um, you know, it just makes you feel like you're part of it when they're yeah. cooking it right in front of you. Yeah, it was That neat. was great and the paella was perfect. Thank you. Yeah, it perfect. was great. I liked it. And if you liked the beer, Dust Bowl Brewing Company, they're actually mm -hmm. going to be pouring at our brew fest oh. October 20th. Yeah. So um, we're ha uh, Jackson Rancheria has put it on the Sierra Foothill Harvest Brew Fest on October 20th. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a craft beer festival uh, from 1 to 5 at the Jackson Rancheria uh, the Grand Oak Ballroom. Okay. We're going to have about 15 different uh, craft breweries from all around California mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to they're going to be pouring their beers. We'll have some food and some great live music okay. and a portion of the proceeds goes to Second Generation, oh, uh, which that's is a, a great, great organization mm -hmm. here in Amador County that mm -hmm. gives back to our children in the agricultural uh, programs like 4-H and FFA. So right, right. we're really excited about that. Yeah, that is a great program too. I'm always excited to support them. Um, second generation group. Well, just, you know, kind of going back to the food and beer pairing, mm -hmm. Manny Sosa was there. He was. He was playing that night. Wonderful. Isn't he fun? Oh, I, I like loved him his so music. Much. He did a super job, a really yes. great variety of music, and mm -hmm. he's just a really neat guy. He is really good. Yeah. I've had him in a few events and other places as well, and he's always just fit in perfectly with, uh, with what kind of idea you have for right. the event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know he's so versatile. He is. And then the way that the area was decorated for the beer pairing was beautiful. Thank you know, it's you. on the terrace, it was well tented, so mm -hmm. there's plenty of shade, so, although it wasn't terribly hot that no, day. No, it was a goodness. beautiful evening. It yeah. really worked out well. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was to me like top notch. I liked the seating, and Good. you know, it's just a great family group of style. People. Everyone just mm -hmm. kind of hangs out and gets to know other people. So. Yeah, there was still a lot of mingling. You didn't yeah. feel like you had to sit in your seat. That was a really good event. Nice Thank job you. on that one. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Very nice. And then uh, shortly after that, we went over to the Lone Wolf because yeah. I wanted to try them out, you know, after mm -hmm. the renovations, what have you. I hadn't been over there yet. Yeah. And that is outstanding. Isn't it pretty? The wine list. is really oh, good. Oh, nice I like, I, job. I love the wine list. I can't take credit for that, but yeah. I wish I could. <laughs> well, the rancheria is definitely doing something right. That was yes. a great wine list. And then even just sitting in the lounge area, because um, we didn't eat because we'd already, you know, had dinner at the event. Yeah. Um, just beautiful. The service was great. It was a really fun, comfortable atmosphere. The chairs are really comfortable. Good. And then I was looking on into the dining room, watching the patrons have dinner, and mm -hmm. um, you know, just the food that was coming out of the kitchen was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Especially locals' night in mm -hmm. Amador County. You should tell them they're there on Wednesdays and Thursdays. You go in, let them know you live in Amador County, and it's 20% off your bill. Wow. And you can take uh, any wine for free corkage that night. So oh, Wednesdays and that's Thursdays a deal, free corkage and 20% off your bill. And they've actually changed the menu a little bit here and there. They, um, They've added a few items that are a little bit at a lower cost. Uh, they have a chicken marsala and a few mm -hmm. items. Um, they have a lobster mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. I know. So they had a few, they've, they've added a few items to the menu that you don't have to feel like you go, are going in there to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So you can go grab a drink and sit in the lounge area and share mm -hmm. a flatbread or, right. or have Appetizers a little macaroni and cheese. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I did look at the menu just briefly, and I, I thought, you know, there's lots of reasonable items yeah. on the menu. And then, of course, there's the gourmet. There's, yeah, great. 
great stuff mm -hmm. for special occasions. Right. You win big on the slots. Go out there yeah, and have fun. <laughs> chicken dinner <laughs> right yeah so I'm um, yeah it's it's pretty neat and they're actually changing around the buffet uh, starting November how's that we're going we're really excited so they're going to be doing some themed weekends with uh, they're bringing seafood back Ooh. and doing some steaks that was so good in the past and I'm everything. excited about yeah, that yeah so we're bringing that back in November very, very excited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. you're going to get a great turnout from that because you know I just I still remember people saying oh did you what happened to the seafood buffet I know and, yeah well it's so coming that's, back that's so exciting. I'm excited you guys are doing everything right to you know pull people in and get them reintroduced if they haven't been there in a while. I mean, yeah. you definitely have me sold when I went Thank over there. You. I thought, why don't I come here more often? Yeah, you know, and and I'm not a huge gambler, but just Neither for the I. food. I mean, the food and the experience, the the concerts, the events that are happening soon mm -hmm. um, up there. We're really excited, uh, kind of putting a new spin on things up there, and right. and uh, really trying to open up to more local um, activities. So on the beer festival that you're having coming yeah. up, what's the date on that again? October 20th. It's okay. a Sunday from oh. 1 until 5. Is, are there more than one type of brews? I mean, is it one brewery, many breweries? Many breweries. So oh, we're having really? um, anywhere between 15 to 20 breweries. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the local ones, Dust Bowl out of Turlock will be there. Right. Uh, Snowshoe from Arnold will oh. come on down. Right. Uh, with Tioga Sequoia Brewing Company from Fresno. Uh, we have... Oh, goodness, Mendocino Brewing Company, mm. uh, Sierra Nevada will be there. Oh, that's good. Firestone from San Luis Obispo will be there. Um, uh, let's see, 21st Amendment from mm -hmm. San Francisco will be pouring some awesome. of their beers. Goodness, I wish I had the list in front well, of me. Well, that's a ton. <laughs> I mean, that's just such a great variety. Um, yeah. I'm excited to see that because in some of the local brew fests that they've had, you know, in our area, it's um, maybe one or two uh, specialty brews and then some standard, right. you know, uh, beers and that type of thing. But I really like the smaller brewing companies, the unusual beers, and sometimes I'll even prepare them especially for this type of season. Right. So yeah. our, our theme is Harvest Brew Fest, so it's definitely going to be a little bit more harvesty. It's the mm -hmm. end of October, and we all know Big Crush. Uh, yeah, uh, it was October fifth and sixth, so mm -hmm. we're kind of keeping with the harvest feel. The food will be um, kind of warm, and um, I think they're doing some artisan sausages they're making in house. Ooh. And uh, our bands are local. Uh, we actually have Darren Sexton and Highway Forty Nine playing awesome. for the first hour and a half in the Grand Oak Ballroom, and then we're having Stephanie Ray Band playing the second half of the event. Uh -huh. So live music. And I'm not uh, familiar with Stephanie Ray. What what kind of music? She is still kind of bluesy and fun. She has mm -hmm. a beautiful guitar. She definitely knows how to belt the notes out. So we're excited mm -hmm. to have her. It's her first time having her band come They're to our casino. They're dancing there too? We'll have a little bit of space. If mm -hmm. you'd like to dance, we're all we're okay. all about it. That's so fun. it'll be fun. Some great live music and uh, 15 or so, hopefully more uh, breweries, uh, mm -hmm. some great food. And it's only $20. Yeah, that's so a screaming deal. So you can get your ticket and then on top of buying your ticket for $20, you're going to get a little uh, tasting glass mm -hmm. with our logo on it, uh, as well as uh, $10 in free slot player match play. So really you're paying $10 to get there. It's Who knows? 10 bucks, yeah. Your $10 free match play might uh, actually turn into something if you go down to the casino and play with it. Right, so, right. Yeah, wow, that sounds like a really, really fun event. Yeah, really fun. Um, when I was at the beer pairing, we did go downstairs and, yeah. you know, partake to a little bit of fun and games. Yes. And I really enjoyed that. And the, that, that one also came with some slot play. Yes. And yeah. that's what brought us in there. Well, hey, we're going to take a quick break. Definitely. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.